arguably one of the biggest things that's happening in the Kubernetes ecosystem right now is figuring out how to abstract Kubernetes. Kubernetes is, it's insanely complicated. Containerization is complicated. A lot of folks are just trying to get up to speed with Kubernetes and containerization. So a lot of the pieces of the pie that are happening in 2023 is abstracting Kubernetes, essentially using Kubernetes without knowing that you're using Kubernetes. And that's where a lot of the tools and platforms come into play, like Portainer, for example. Now, one of the other ones is GitOps and GitOps is very, very popular right now. It's essentially a way to deploy containerized applications automatically in a declarative fashion. And it's arguably pretty much the same thing as configuration management in a sense. So with configuration management, if you've ever used like Ansible, Chef, Puppet, whatever configuration management tool, you have a configuration that you essentially say, okay, I want my server to look like this. I want it to have this version of this application. I want it to have this binary on it. I want it to have this SQL server on it. In Kubernetes, you have a GitOps controller and it looks at source control and it has a Kubernetes manifest maybe in some source control repo and it looks at that Kubernetes manifest and it says, okay, this is the desired state. I need to make that the current state in my Kubernetes cluster. Just like configuration management looks at a config and says, okay, that's the desired state. I need it to be the current state on this server. So the whole idea here is that a GitOps controller, it'll go out to source control, it'll look at a particular repository, it'll say, oh, in this repository, there's an nginx.yaml of Kubernetes manifest that's deploying a deployment Kubernetes resource, and then it'll deploy it. And then what'll happen is you have an interval that's set up, and that interval will look at it maybe every five minutes, every 30 seconds, every one minute. Regardless of how often you set up that interval, it's gonna look at the source control repo, and it's gonna say, oh, this changed from two replicas to three replicas. Let me go and auto update that so the user or the engineer doesn't have to do it manually. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into how GitOps works in Portainer. All right, so I'm at GitHub here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to repositories and then I'm gonna click on my Kubernetes examples repo. Now, if you don't already have a Kubernetes manifest that you wanna deploy with GitOps, that's perfectly fine. You could use this one. So if you click on this nginx.yaml here, you can go ahead and you can copy it and put it in your own GitHub repo. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to Portainer and I'm gonna click on applications and then I'm gonna click on create from manifest. I'll deploy it to the default namespace and then I'll give this a name. So I'll say nginx deployment. Now for the build method, I'm gonna choose use a Git repo because again with GitOps, it's calling upon a Git repo where the code exists. And then the deployment type is gonna be Kubernetes. Now really quick, just to showcase this, if you are using Docker Compose, it has the same option that we'll see for Kubernetes, but I'll go ahead and I'll go back to Kubernetes and then I'm going to paste in my repository. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy my org here. And I'm gonna type in Kubernetes examples. Oops, sorry, I gotta get rid of this here. All right, and then I can choose the repository reference, so main or dev or whatever branch you saved your Nginx YAML to or any other code that you have. And then I'm gonna specify the path. So I'm just gonna do Nginx YAML. And the reason why I'm not specifying a particular directory is because it's in the root directory. So again, if I go back here and I go to Kubernetes examples and I scroll down, it's right in the root of the repo. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on automatic updates and this is the GitOps functionality. So the automatic updates is the GitOps functionality. And we have two options, either webhook or polling. Typically with GitOps, you're gonna see it from a polling perspective because this is where the interval comes into play. So I can say, go look at my source control repo every five minutes, every 30 seconds, every one minute, whatever the case may be. Now, force redeployment you don't necessarily need to have this on, but what it does is every time the interval occurs, even if the Kubernetes manifest did not change, the pod would still get redeployed. And this is an interesting practice if you wanna use it because it ensures that the current state of the Kubernetes cluster is what's in source control. Now, for example, somebody could go in and you know run kubectl edit or something like that, on a pod or on a deployment and change it all up. But the force redeployment, it would you know automatically redeploy it from source control. So you always know that your current state is your desired state. And then next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click deploy. All 
All right, and as we can see here, that's being deployed. It just says zero out of two right now. If I go ahead and if I refresh the application list and I scroll over again, we can now see that our application has been deployed. And that's how you can get started with GitOps and Portainer. Thank you so much for watching.